Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, first off, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, uh, happy holidays. Uh, in general, I just hope everybody is spending uh, time with their loved ones and having a good time. Uh, but I'm sorry to, you know, to interrupt the festivities, but this is such important news that I just couldn't wait. Um, first, like this is crazy. Um, I know recently uh, I, ProShares came out with the iSpy, uh, and now YieldMax is firing back. Um, they're coming for that hedging and inverse money. Um, ProShares and RexShares, they both put on notice. Um, this actually kind of reminds me of a of a scene from the uh, from the movie American Gangster. Uh, uh, in this particular scene, uh, Denzel Washington's character confronts Idris Elba's character. Um, I, if you haven't seen the movie, I'll link like the clip to it, uh, but it's pretty violent, so I just want to warn you guys about that. Uh, so I know it's not like the most appropriate, but this is this is nuts. Um, but of course, like the usual disclaimer, uh, the SEC obviously hasn't approved any of these yet, so there's no guarantees. But any you know, there's no uh, ticker symbols. But I'm really excited because this could potentially be a triple Q Y hedge. Um, the official name on this guy is the N100 Inverse Options Income uh, Strategy. Uh, so this one doesn't have a ticker symbol. Um, and this was dated, uh, let's see, December 21st. Um, and so is this guy. So this is really exciting. Um, because they're putting out uh, another like five sets of um, inverse ETFs. Uh, and this one is like meant to be like for Tesla. This one's meant to be for OARC. This one's meant to be NVIDIA. Uh, this one's meant for Co uh, Coinbase. And this one's meant for uh, Apple. So I think they're starting off with like the, like the five of the most kind of like most liquid and most, I guess like most popular ETFs uh, to start. And I hope, I really, really hope that these get approved. Um, now, now, first they're saying that, you know, uh, according to the document, they're, it's similar to like the other yield max funds where uh, it's an income first strategy. Um, and then if you get like, a, you know, a down move, like they'll probably capture some of it, uh, but it's secondary. Um, and also there's no expense ratio yet, but I'm assuming it is, it'll just be similar to all the other ones so far. It'd be like 99 basis points. Um, the methodology they're using, this time they're using a synthetic covered put. So the, like the regular yield max strategy, you, you have your long call, your short put, and then you have a short call that acts as sort of like the, uh, the, the income generating um, uh, vehicle. Uh, so this will be kind of like the opposite. Uh, so instead now you're doing a short call, uh, but you have a long put, and then the short put uh, in theory, uh, would be the um, kind of like the income generator. Now this is where it gets like really uh, might be getting a little funky because I think this is actually a four-legged spread, um, but I'll explain uh, more in the minute. Um, generally, like inverse inf ETFs, like the ones that we've seen um, from other companies like ProShares. Uh, now RexShares has like the you know the the inverse of I think Tesla and Nvidia if memory serves me correct, um, and then there's also like the Direxion, uh, where they have like uh, double levered, uh, triple levered, and then you have like the the double um, reversals and then the triple reversals. So like if the market goes down, like in theory, um, those ETFs will give you like the daily or triple, uh, like basically like like a daily um, the inverse. Uh, so if the market goes down, you make money, uh, and then if you, and for the double and triple, you know, you're, what they're targeting is double and triple the, the amount of like how much the market goes down. So those are meant for more like shorter term, um, almost like trade, uh, day trading uh, type of vehicles. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, those are really helpful uh, back in the day when the markets were like falling apart. Um, but I do have to warn you when the market like goes up in like a nice bull market, the nav erosion. Um, historically has been really bad for those type of ETFs, but they might have a, uh, they might have like found a temporary workaround, which I'm really excited uh, to, to show you in a second. So, you know, over here, they're, this is like, they're breaking down the, the methodology. They're selling like call options and buying a, a long uh, put option uh, about like three to six months out. 
um, and then like you know the, the short put um, that'll be like expiring like one month or less um, and they're saying like it's like zero to fifteen percent out of the money uh, so I guess they, they have like some uh, like a good range to work with um, and here's what gets interesting now on top of that they also have a, a out of the money call but it doesn't specify like how far that they're um, uh, buying it above uh, because like that long call that acts as like your insurance policy against like you know the markets like melt up like crazy uh, you know this will kind of help um, cut down on like some of that nav erosion so I'll kind of like just to um, to sum it up like the short call long put is like their synthetic short uh, the short put acts as like the income generator and this long call is like your insurance policy and this is a really funky setup because I rarely see this um, employed by other uh, uh, traders. Um, so basically the way to think about this, at least like how I think about it, is this is kind of like a longer dated uh, short vertical spread, but and then like, combine that with a long diagonal spread. Uh, so this is kind of like a modified uh, Delta Buster. Uh, this term was used by Les and Jenny from the Tasty Trade and the Tasty Live uh, network. Uh, so if you ever want to uh, catch up on that kind of stuff, like you can go to like the website and and uh, learn more about that. Um, so again, um, like the estimates I'm going to show you, these are kind of like the perfect role scenarios, uh, and I'll show you kind of like um, the setups for for a, for a few of these. So the for the uh, what I what I'm thinking it will be like the triple QY hedge. It'll probably be the same thing. They're going to use like the NDX uh, because it's also cash settled. Um, so it's a little simpler for them. Um, so like in this example, I mapped out what I think could be like a like a typical trade for them. So if you notice, like I put out like the uh, most of the strikes like out like uh, about like three months out um, because that's what they mentioned uh, in the prospectus. Um, and then I'm also assuming that the whatever they they can get for like the short put uh, is also just like one month out. So if you notice over here, that's why you see like the January one, uh, you know, about one month out, like from the time of this recording. So let's just say they they take like 360, uh, you know, times 12, and then you divide that by like the the amount paid for this particular trade. Um, you could potentially get up to 48 percent which I think is pretty good for like a short strategy. But again, um, this is some assumes like a perfect world. So like you need like the market to kind of go down. So I, I don't actually expect like 48%. Like even if they capture just like half, like even if it's just like 20%, um, like annualized, that's still pretty good for like a, like an insurance policy. Because what I, what I'm thinking, like how this would like fit in my portfolio, my own portfolio, um, I could probably see this like he hedging like part of like uh, like my triple QY holdings, but I'll I'll save that for like a separate uh, video. And now for the Tesla example, this is really crazy um, because like you're again I'm doing a similar methodology where I'm doing like the kind of like the synthetic short with the protection, um, and then I'm also doing. Uh, like the one month uh, cl uh, closer to the money, so that'll be like the like our the income generator. So like if you take three dollars and thirty cents times twelve divided by eighteen dollars and ten cents, because that's what we're paying for like the the whole um, package deal here. This is nuts. So if, like Tesla for whatever reason, um, you know, takes a tank, um, you know that. You know, again, this is a perfect world scenario, so 218%. Um, of course, I don't expect to get 218% uh, all the time. Uh, it's similar to like how like Tesla, um, you know, obviously I don't expect like it to maintain like 60% like forever. So like the, I think what I plan to do, like I'll use these, um, like the new inverse ETFs to kind of pair off like whatever I own in my own like the regular yield max funds um but you know as like when they finally come out like i'll we'll be able to like kind of test drive it in like real time um so again even if they take like you know just one like a quarter of this or even just like 10 percent of this 
that's still pretty good for like an inverse ETF. Um, but again, like, you know, so in a, this isn't a perfect world. Like the market's not always going to go straight up and the market's not going to go straight down. So we kind of have to, to plan these out um, carefully. Um, and then for like the last example, um, I was actually surprised at the Apple example because uh, I thought like their, um, the, the premium will be like uh, much lower. But I guess like maybe people are worried about Apple and that's why like they're willing to pay a little bit more for like the um, like the short put version, uh, the, the short put um, part of like this uh, package. So again, like I did the same thing where where I'm pricing out the uh, the synthetic short with the insurance uh, three months out and then the the uh, the short put like one month out. Uh, so you multiply like the 23 cent uh, premium times, you know, let's assume they can do this 12 times a year. Um, and then like the, um, this whole package over here, like maybe like four times a year, uh, assuming like this, you know, around like the similar, um, price, you know, you could get, you could still get like 65% uh, out of these, which again, is a, in a perfect world. So, you know, again, like maybe take half, that's still 30%. Um, and I, you know, I, which I th still think is pretty good. Um, I, I think the genius of this is because this is also like hedged and then you're also using like this short, um, like the short put they pay for part of this. And that's the beauty of this particular strategy because I, I've, I don't think I've ever seen um, uh, anyone else uh, do this in this uh, format before. So this is really exciting for me. Um, I hope it's exciting for you guys too, because now, you know, like, you know, a lot of people are concerned about like the nav erosion on like the regular yield max uh, uh, portion of the portfolio. And now you have something else to kind of uh, like offset that. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they, like what the, I guess like the names for these, like the ticker symbols for these, or if they're going to use like maybe like uh, triple Q D for like down or something like that. Um, or maybe like, you know, tr uh, like I triple Q, like for inverse or I TSL for, for Tesla and, and et cetera. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, again, uh, well, it's probably going to take at least 75 days for the SEC to either approve or reject these. Um, I'm hoping that they do approve them, but this could get really crazy because they they're already working like a whole bunch of um, just like the regular ETFs. Um, and then now they have like the inverse on top of that. So um, now someone mentioned um, in the comment section that they're, they're hiring. So I think that's good uh, because they're going to need all the help that they can get to like, to help, um, you know, just like manage the workload. This is a lot. Um, I mean, even I'm like, kind of like, just like keeping track of all this stuff is like, it's, it's pretty nuts. Um, and I think that the YMAX will really get crazy. But I wonder if they they will if they'll put the inverse ETFs um, inside YMAX as well, or if they're gonna do like something separate and maybe call it like YMIN or like Y you know SHO for like short or something like that. Um, and now I'm really curious to like what else is like yield max co uh, cooking because I I really didn't expect them to do anything like like around like the Christmas New Year time. Um, but man, they they're really like they're not messing around. Um, so I'm really curious to see like what else they, they come up with, like what this iron condors, triangles, calendars, uh, diagonals and ratios. Like, I, I mean, this caught me by surprise, but in, in a, definitely in a good way, um, because what they're coming up was, is really unique. Um, and it's just like, like, even if you're an experienced option trader, like you're, you're still like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Um, but anyway, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Like you want to you know, spend time with your family, obviously. So, uh, you know, everybody, uh, please, uh, like, and subscribe. Um, I really hope everybody is enjoying their, um, their holiday time. Uh, you know, just keep in mind that reading the SEC documents is hard work, you know, especially on the holidays, but you know, guys stay tuned. Um, there's probably like even more stuff coming out like in the new year. So thank you for watching. And I hope everyone has a great new year as well. Uh, bye now.